Hello friends, this is Yusuf here. Welcome to another interesting video. So in this video, we're gonna see one Python program. Uh, basically, I have had a requirement to combine uh, many CSV files into a single CSV file. Okay, so today I'm gonna show you how I did it and it might help maybe one of you. Okay, first let, let me show you the output first. So basically, uh, here uh, I have some list of CSV files, test one, test two, test three, up to test six. Okay, uh, and then if you open this file, right, with some um, notepad, you can see this is a data, it's a sample data basically, okay? Like this, uh, if you go to test two, you'll be able to see the data of test two as well. Okay, so everything is having a heading and then some data. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I have a program called read CSV here. Okay, I'm going to I'm going my going to my command prompt and then I'm in the same folder. Okay, so here I'm just saying uh, Python space read hyphen csv dot py. So if we enter, we can see what happens. It says file one test one completed, test two completed. Finally, uh, file out csv is created. So if you see here, out csv is available. If you open again with the notepad, I will I will be able to see the combination of all the data here okay also the main thing is the header is available only once and to differentiate the data from each file i also have another indicator says from which file it came so i'm going to tell you how uh, i have done this um, because it is one of the requirement where uh, we have more than 1000 csv files but we need to combine everything to see uh, holistic data okay fine so for that i'm going to write this combine csv from scratch okay i mean the program from scratch uh, but i'm gonna go very basic step by step so that you understand all the small small things which i have done okay so i'm going to start from how we can read a csv file okay and then how can we just write a csv file and then we can see how can we read from one and then take the data and then write it to another and then we'll eventually see how to read many files and then write it to a single file okay so first basically i'm going to show you how we are going to read so open with ideally okay so for reading a file is very straightforward because python is having an inbuilt uh, library called csv so we just import the csv okay and then i am just having a file name as a test1.csv i am referring to this file say for example and a variable, a variable called file okay and then as usual it's a simple python syntax uh, with open uh, test1 uh, here I don't need test one dot csv because I can use the word file. Okay, uh, with open file or means read as f. So this f is a file pointer, and then here is the important thing. So f is just a file pointer, but I'm going to give that file pointer into uh, a method called reader, which is available in my CSV uh, library. Okay, so CSV dot reader it accepts one file pointer and then some other extra uh, options. So here I say delimiter equal to uh, comma because it's comma separator file okay now the csv reader is actually a object of library csv okay so it's it has its own powerful methods okay and then uh, i'll tell i'll talk about this one later i'm just commenting this out okay and then what i did uh, i'm just for row in uh, csv data i'm just printing the row okay uh, let's see what happens with this okay i'm going to save this one and then press f5 then it will execute this python in a uh, python interpreter okay so now you can see uh, we got all the data okay in the form of a list okay in python we call this as the list in general it's kind of array you can see okay uh yeah so you can see the header including the header we got everything okay so if you if you do not want the header right that that's where this uh next comes in okay so if you call this next what happens it just reads the data okay that's it so when we read again we'll read the next uh the next record basically okay so if we use this one right so after i read the csv everything will be available in csv reader so if you just print this csv reader let's see what you see fi okay so you see it's a, actually an object okay and inside the csv reader it has all the four data uh available but we since we want to skip the first one we are using this method called next so that it skips the first record and then we are reading the remaining record using a for loop okay fine i think it's pretty straightforward right so let's see how do we write a csv file okay so let me close this close this okay i have a right example here uh open it ideally okay 
so right is also very straightforward okay but here what you need to understand is actually i'm importing the csv and then i'm just opening a file called test out.csv and then i'm using a w indicator so w is for right okay uh, i'll come to this new line later so let me take this out okay fine this, this is my file uh, pointer for the out file now it is a simple file pointer it's not a csv file pointer so to convert that we are having a method called csv dot writer we pass this f here and then give some options now the csv underscore writer variable will become a csv file pointer now from that we have a function called write row which accepts a particular a list a list of comma separator values say for example okay so i just simply write uh, the same stuff but manually so okay so if i run that i should be able to get this test out.csv uh, here uh, with these values so let's see if i get this or not so let me save this and then run it so it just completes without saying anything so it means we are good so if you come here we are seeing a test out here test out okay so if you open it now you are able to see the data but you can see there is a blank line uh, after each row okay that's where the uh, second option comes in okay which says new line equal to blank okay if i use this one uh, basically what happens it will create it without a new line okay just complete it so go here and then take this one and then open now you can see there is no new data okay good so now we know how to read how to write now we're going to see the next step which is combining these two steps together okay so for that i'm going to write from scratch uh let me take this one okay see as we combine it's a new file okay okay so let's write it first of all same as import csv okay uh fine so we need to read and then write right so for that what i'm going to do uh with open okay i say test one dot csv okay as our as f. so f1 okay this is my uh, input file say for example okay now what i will do uh, i will say csv reader equal to csv dot reader i'll pass the f1 comma delimiter equal to comma now the csv reader will become my csv file pointer okay uh, so as usual uh, if i just want to write i need to open the file again so i'll say with open uh, i say here uh, Test out one because we already have a test out here so test out one dot csv okay comma i say w okay and then a new line equal to blank as f2 okay now we need to make this f2 as a csv writer right so csv underscore writer equal to csv dot writer pass the f2 and then some option which is nothing but delimiter equal to comma now we have csv reader csv reader what we are going to do we're going to read the csv reader right so for row in uh, csv reader so this will bring us each row into a row variable so i want to write into csv underscore writer dot write row and pass in the row that's it so i think this will help us to create the file called test out one dot csv let's, let's check the check the route save it run it we should not get any errors we didn't get any error so here you can see test out is created if we open it we are able to see the data from the test one here okay fine so we are able to read it from one file write it into another file okay let me delete these two things another i'll tell me i'll tell you another thing so if i want to read more than one file and then combine it right this w will not work because w is, will always overwrite the content okay so for that i'm going to use called a a means append so it will just keep appending okay uh, now what i'm going to do i'm going to extend this which means i'm going to have a variable called files okay in that i'm going to say test1.csv comma test2.csv now this files variable is contained two file names okay so i want to do this operation for each file okay so i can do like for file in files okay now this file variable will contain each 
data of the files array right so for that i should do the whole thing tab okay and instead of test1.csv i can just say file okay uh, so f1 will be okay then reader then that's it so no, no much change so let me save this and then execute so it is completed so if you come here test out one is created open it so here is the thing we got the data from both the files but the heading is repeating okay so here is what we need to skip the heading okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to basically skip the heading right so here is what the heading is coming so inside the csv reader it is having all the data including header okay i want to skip this so before i read this for loop i'll do next csv reader comma so this will skip the data so if you just save and execute what will happen we'll just get the data alone but without any header but i want the header to be available at least once okay for that i'm going to do another trick it's a simple logic only i'm going to have a thing called line count equal to zero one simple variable and here, here, here this is the this is where we create the file pointer for writing it okay and then here is where we start writing it so here what i'm going to do i'm going to write it manually which is csv underscore writer dot write a row which will take one list and i should give one two three okay so serial number name and age okay but this should happen only if line count equal to equal to zero which is only the first time okay then i'll do a tab because this is a if condition okay then i'll immediately increment the counter to plus one so now what will happen after this the line count will be one so next time this line will not be executed at all okay and since we are using a next here uh we'll be always keeping the header from the file and then we'll write only the data okay so save it uh, before I run, I'll clear this out because we are doing in upward mode, so it will just keep opening. Uh, run it. Okay, so here the file is created. Open it. Okay, cool. So we got one header and data coming in. Now we are we need two things to handle. First thing is here we gave the file name uh, manually right uh, which is in the list okay but if you have a thousand file i cannot form this one okay how to handle that point one second how do we differentiate the data inside this okay here just combines the data so i don't want to know which data belongs to which file okay uh, so i need to add another column on the left hand side saying the file name and then that should have the its own file name so further what i'm going to do a simple trick nothing but uh, I'm going to make this three column into four column. Okay, and the uh, first column will be the file name and remaining three will be the data So in the right row, I'm just going to say uh, File name, okay, but here the row is containing only the three data because it is coming directly from the file So I want to make this row into a fourth column. So basically I need to add the file name also, okay? So since it's a list trait right, in Python adding element to the list is very easy. So I'm going to say here data equal to data is my new variable. Okay, something plus row. Okay, here row is also a list and this is also a list. So it will combine these two data. Okay, and inside the data, I'm just going to put file because file will be containing the file name okay so this what will happen it will prefix the data in the row with the file name and instead of writing row i will write data okay let's save this close this and delete this and uh, run it okay and successfully and if you go and check this now you can see file name came and then each file name is also available okay so if you want to strip out this dot csv and if you want only the file name we can do that also it's a simple code change here i'll just put uh, another bracket colon minus four okay it is called a negative indexing uh, i won't go much into this but i'll tell you in later videos okay uh, what this will do this will st stripe off the last four characters from the uh, variables okay so the variable name is what we have is actually the file 
uh, right the file is a variable name and that is containing the file name and we are typing up last four so minus four so let's run this executed created Paka. so we got only test one test two like that cool we are already almost done we just need only one thing to take care of which is the file names dynamically taking up okay so say for example if i want to run all the test one test six from this folder how do you do that that's the next portion okay for that i'm going to demonstrate from here uh, i'm giving python okay we have a model called os okay and os is having a method called LISTDIR. So this, what it will give, it will give you the current files available on this particular uh, folder, basically. Okay, our current directory. Okay, if you put OS dot get current working directory, you will know this is my current working directory, and in that directory, these are the data available. So you can see it's already coming in as a list. Okay, so what we can do. We can simply replace our hard coded value, okay, into something like this os dot list dir. So we need to import os. But the problem is this files now contains all the files of the folder, which includes your Python program, your CSV file, and other things also. But we need to process only the CSV files, okay? For that, we can simply do one simple trick since this uh these are all you can see it's a string only okay and we have a method called uh something like okay here i'll each file will come into this but i don't i don't want to process everything for all the file but i want to process only for the csv file so i can do something like if file dot ends with okay there is a thing called ends with and then i can say dot csv okay if the file dot ends with dot csv then i should do all the steps so i just go, select it and put a tab now everything goes inside okay but just for our reference what i'm going to do i'm just going to here print uh file let me print the file okay just to see what happens uh yeah that's it so then here uh we are opening the file on here so this with so basically what i'm going to do enter backspace 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 here i'll see print uh what is this uh, file file processed okay okay save it before i run uh yeah this test out one dot csv is not there right so that's okay let me run this one run here you can see this is actually it is displaying it but not processing it okay but when it is csv dot test csv out dot csv it is saying file processed then python program it uh, it is reading but it is not processing it okay like that but here the thing is if you open the output right we'll be <laughs> getting the output of previous this else okay anyway so anyway all good so even it took from the csv out csv file also anyway so that's it i want to cover hope this gives you a kind of a step by step method of how we are uh, merging the csv files into a single csv file okay so it's actually a painful task to do manually if you have a very very uh, large number of files so this was really happened to me a few days before and i was trying to see some options and python really helped me so i hope you like this video uh, i hope this will be useful for you in some ways so that's it for this video uh, see you in the next video with a different concept thanks for watching